All right, so all the new fans are installed, the two new fans, and I can hear them running, so that's good. Uh, I left this uh, uh, Precision X1 up here just as a reminder. We still need to optimize our graphics card, but we're going to do that later. It's been running solid for three weeks now, three or four weeks. So I, li I don't like to start overclocking stuff until I'm sure it's solid. Then I have some b uh, baseline to say, okay, now I need, now I can <coughs> try to improve things and it's running stably without changing anything. But we are going to use this uh, little uh, Asus motherboard uh, uh, intelligent assistant. Uh, this is a really handy system to say how, how your CPU and fans are working and the temperature and so forth. So again, to uh, recap, I have I have a um, let's go ahead and bring that up. So I have a uh, this is my CPU, and I have um, a six uh, core CPUs, and I have hyper threading on. So I have twelve cores, and they're all locked at f uh, five hundred uh, or five uh, gigahertz, so four point ninety nine. So. I was able to overclock that when I first bought the system, and it's been <coughs> it's been uh, very reliable at that at that performance. So I had to adjust all these parameters like you do when you overclock. But this isn't overclocking about your CPU; it's about doing the fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to run Fan Expert because we added some fans. So it wants us to run Fan Expert. So we're going to say Fan Tuning. Let's just see if it's found the Harp fan. Air exhaust, AIO pump. Yeah, so it's, it, uh, that's the amp fan. Yeah, so it's got the amp fan, so that's good. The FMs are running. Those are the ones in front now. So it found that before that that was showing up is not uh, not found. So, so we're gonna run, run fan tuning. I guess we could go ahead and put the uh, locations now. Maybe that'll help the fan tuning. So that's a front fan. And we'll say save. And the AO pump, we don't control that location. And chassis fan three, that's the top. That's running our. Um, that's that's 120 millimeter fan that we added. And chassis fan two is in the bottom. It doesn't remember where that was, so it's in the bottom fan. Okay. And the rear exhaust, that's chassis fan one. CPU fan doesn't let you say where it is. And I think the optional fan, it doesn't let you set that either, so the location. But that's, that's the that's the 92 millimeter fan that we added. All right, so go ahead and run fan tuning. Yep. So now what it's going to do is it's going to go and check each fan to see how fast it can run and uh, how it reacts to different uh, uh, voltages. Or I guess volt. I, I it. I'm assuming it controls the voltage. I'm not sure. So it's going to run every fan on full speed, and then uh, see how it runs at different speeds. So I'll go ahead and stop now, and then when it's all done, we'll uh, see what the results are. Okay, so it's done, and it shows you the CPU fan. Those are the two fans on top. It shows you the curve and so forth. And um, I try to run in silent mode, so we're going to click silent, and it it uh, we're going to save that profile. We're going to call it uh, silent. We'll call it beta signi silent. That'll be our profile. So now we can go through and we can uh, tweak these uh, fan curves as we want to. So extreme silent as it, it leaves the fans on super low when um, until it gets above 50 degrees. So then it starts ramping up the speed. So it, it leaves them off. So that makes it very quiet, obviously. So usually my f computer's not doing too much. It's only when I'm uh, rendering a video or playing a video game, whatever. Then I want to um, 
uh, have the fans come on and be fairly aggressive at cooling it off because I don't want to get up too high. All right, so now we're going to try some um, something that puts a lot of load on the CPU, like uh, rendering a a video. So let me get that set up, and we'll see how how the fans can control the um, the temperature of the CPU. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is try this uh, CPU Z to to um, I figured out the flashing in the background it has to do with the um, uh, the screensaver when it switches switches photos. Uh, there's some kind of sync problem, so I'm, I'm not really worried about that. All right, so I'm going to use uh, CPU Z to stress the CPU and see how the fans react and see what our temperature. So we're running at 50 degrees C now. Let's see what happens when we crank it up here. So we can look at the high amplitude fan. So that's running at 100% speed. And actually, we, we can one in here. We can go to the different fans. So there's the CPU fan. So we're maxing out at 77 degrees, 76, 75. So that's an improvement we saw before. Before we were getting up to 90, 90 degrees C on when we stress the CPU. So, so it's a little bit noisy now, but that's okay. It's easily able to keep the temperature down to in the mid 70s. So that's very nice. Okay, so we'll stop this, and then we'll go ahead and do the other thing, which is what this is just an artificial test, of course. So rendering a video, which is something I do quite often. Although I did find out recently, and I'll bring this up just to highlight it, that you can use your GPU to render videos. I don't know why I didn't know that before. I guess I'm not that much of an expert. Uh, but uh, rendering videos with your GPU is about two or three times faster, at least this GPU. You know, I have a high-end GPU now. And the it doesn't put much load on the, uh, on the uh, GPU because I, I have a hybrid you know, cooling on the GPU, but it never got above 42 degrees, so which is no problem, obviously. But in any case, I used to render videos using um, uh, Vegas Pro 19, so that's that's why I'll be rendering this video on later. This is a video I did of when I was using my chop saw to cut some wire. So, so we're going to go ahead and uh, render this. I I am rendering it with the uh, the uh, NVIDIA codec. So we're going to turn off uh, favorites and we're going to go ahead and do um, let's see we're just going to say match project settings. So that's the Intel one. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, this is what I used to use. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just change this name to uh, X or something because we don't really want to save this. There it goes. Okay. All right. So this should be using the CPU. Yeah. So in the past, the CPU got up to 90 degrees before I added the other. Yes. Yeah, so here it's up to 80. It did get up to 90 before. And I think with the new fans, maybe 80 will be the limit. So all the fans are pretty much running 100% now. We can switch around here. Here's the CPU fans. Yeah, anything above seven. The way the fan curves are set up, anything above 75, it puts everything at 100%. So, so we dropped 10 degrees by adding those two push fans. So that's actually pretty massive, uh, massive improvement, I would say. So, all that effort was worth it. All right. So it looks like it's almost done here. Yeah. So it's done. All right. So. Instead of 90 degrees on the CPU, we, we're only uh, getting up to about 80 when we do something really heavy duty on our CPU. So that's worth all the effort to put those extra fans in, print out the 3D adapter brackets, and so forth. So, okay. So now the remaining, then from here on, there'll be other just uh, fine tuning of the of the computer as far as the GPU and so forth, and. Uh, That'll be our next task. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.